So how does this happen? That's a question many are asking tonight after five inmates overdose on suspected crack cocaine at the Denver jail. Denver 7's Molly Hendrickson is live tonight from the jail. Molly, how did these guys even get drugs in the first place? Well, that's what investigators are still trying to figure out. Now, typically when inmates are brought here to the jail, they are made to go through a metal detector. They're then... Uh, given a shower and put in a uniform before they're put in a pod. Now we know that they are not strip searched. We know these five inmates were all in pod four, which houses longer term inmates. They were all taken to the hospital and survived. This isn't a new problem. A 2015 review of the sheriff's department found excessive amounts of contraband in the two jails. Consultants made several recommendations, including searching staff when they get to work and regular documented cell searches. Some changes have already been made. We're bringing on three additional drug dogs, so we will have four in total, and those dogs will do sweeps of the facilities constantly. Now tonight, four of those inmates are still in the hospital. One is back at the jail, but we're told because uh, investigators could not find any drugs on the inmates or in their cells, they likely will not face any charges. We're live in Denver. Molly Hendrickson, Denver 7.